Hey everybody, we are back. I'm sure you remember this really cool case, this young gentleman here that had um, what appeared to be a bone growing out of his toe. So take a peek. Um, just to refresh your memory, we sent it to the lab, um, to pathology to see what it was. And we also did an MRI of the area. Well, good news, everybody. This is a osteochondroma, which is basically um, a benign bone tumor common in young men. Females get it too, but most common between um, 10 and 30 years old. So he's been soaking it and applying some Helix, which is a collagen wound powder to fill it in. It's all kind of impacted today. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just soak this for you know maybe about five minutes and then come back with my curette and see if I can't uh, clean some of it up, okay? So let's put the soak on and let's let that sit for five minutes and we'll be back to debris some of that off. All right guys, we're back. We let that soak for about six minutes. Now I'm gonna see if I can't get some of this debris off. And then what I'm gonna do is have you, so we don't need to use the Helix anymore. Okay. We're gonna use um, betadine. Have you, uh, or iodine, have you heard of that? Yes. Before, wonderful. So you'll use that every, uh, every day. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. So what we're left with today, let's see if that's soft. Ooh, good. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you're doing good. <laughs> so this here is actually a pyogenic granuloma, which is a, is tissue. I'm sorry, buddy, you're doing good. And so what I'm gonna do is actually, so it's excessive tissue um, that has grown, and I'm gonna put silver nitrate, which is gonna cauterize, and that's the blood that you were talking about, the drainage that okay. you got, um, it's coming from this. So it doesn't hurt, but what I'm gonna do is just put that on there and it will start retracting back. So I'll put it on today, I'll have you come back next week, and my goal is that I'm gonna see it start really pulling back. Okay. If it's still not back enough, I'll put a little more on. Okay. okay. All right, doing good, doing good. That's what I really wanna look like through. But that scab, you get a big hunk of it off. And that's starting to heal over, which is what we want. So I don't want to pick it off. And this scab here, we're just gonna get a little bit to make sure there's not a granuloma hiding underneath of it. So far, so good. I'm almost done with this part, okay? I'm like, thank God. Okay, let's get some silver nitrate. And then, so silver nitrate for me today, and then a band aid with a little bit of aided on it. So really good news, this wasn't something more serious and scary. So you can sleep easy tonight. So silver nitrate is used if you have pets at home. Um, if you clip their nails a little too short, this is what you use to get the bleeding to stop. And by cauterizing it, we're not, the blood is not gonna be supplying the surface of the skin anymore and encouraging more tissue to grow. So we really kind of want to stop that process and get this to retract entirely. So I'd say just a couple applications of this, maybe just one, and it will be gone. So this is a complete case, wonderful turnout, and this will heal up in no time. And bait it on. So no soaking today since I was able to get quite a bit off. If you wanna soak it one time, maybe tomorrow, and see what you can get off, um, I'm okay with that with a nail brush. But after that, you know, no more soaking, no more helix, just a little bit of betadine every day and then a Band-Aid. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching yet another really fun case with me. Um, don't forget, Sign up for the channel, comment below if you have any questions, if you have some weird stuff growing on your feet, I'd love to take a peek at it. Okay, thanks for watching.